Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you a ton of gold pack openings, free pack openings, and all the pulls I've pulled from this game, NHL 15. Before we start this video, a big shout out to Hut Puck Traders for a fast and reliable service. I'm sure the website for NHL 15 will be available soon to buy pucks. It may be already now, but make sure you check out the description. But anyway, I open a ton of these packs. Some of these you may have seen if you've watched the Deacus Tree. Some of them you may not see until one or two episodes later. But there are some pretty good pulls in here. There is nothing too insane. There's no like 95, 96, but there is 190 somewhere throughout this video. There's a few 87s, 88s. So if you guys watch this full video, you will see who I get. But basically, these beginning packs, there's nothing too special here. Some of the stuff is just, uh, it's, it's it's not great, but it's not terrible, to be honest. I mean, like, 84, 85 is not terrible. But not really finding any players with, like, top-end speed and stuff like that, which would have been nice. But, like, an 85 in Bieksa, sure, he's an 85, but it's Kevin Bieksa. And, I mean, defensively, he's probably good, but he doesn't have the greatest speed. He's not the biggest name. He's not the most price. But still, it's just awesome to pull some of these guys and overall, just opening these packs, in my honest opinion, I like it better than NHL 14 at first. When I opened the first few, I was like, I don't know if I like it. It's really confusing. The whole, I don't even know what it's called for the item selection. There's an 88 in Shattenkirk, but this is a free pack, sadly. But I was like, what does the whole item thing mean? Because eventually you'll say, like, you don't have enough for your, like, it's a, there's like a collection and then there's like a, like a storage sort of thing. So it was confusing at first. I sort of understand it now, but... Some of the stuff is still pretty confusing when you're complying with consumables to players. It's different now. You could you have to press the right trigger to sort things. There's like training, there's contracts, and there's healing. You have to use the right trigger to sort through them. You see there we pulled Philpula, which he's a pretty good card. He's really, really fast. He got a huge bump from last year. I think he was an 84 last year in Hut. Now he's an 87. This pack, we don't really pull anyone, but I'm just trying to collect many of these players and get my collection bonus, because I believe you get five, I don't even know how many packs, I know the Buffalo Sabres is five packs, so if you guys do not know collections, you get packs this year, I'm not sure if it's tradable or free, I would assume it's tradable hopefully, as you see we get an 88 in Martin St. Louis, but I hope it's tradable, it could be free though, I, I, I don't know though, we will have to see when I collect the team, or if we see someone else collect the team, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I think that's pretty cool. Again, people probably would prefer pucks, but that completely kills a uh, puck farm or whatever people did last year. In the year. I don't even know if it was the year before that, but pretty much that kills puck, uh, puck farming. So now you just get packs. Again, you could still probably just do it with different accounts and then get the packs open to things. And if you pull someone, then sort of like the same thing, but you're not guaranteeing anything that this year. And again, this was not really a good pack either, but we just keep going through these. I think there's probably 30 plus 35, maybe even 40 packs this episode. And we pull some okay things, some pretty good things, and then maybe one or two really good things, but nothing amazing or outstanding, like, like 90, like I said, like 92, 93, something like that. We don't pull anything like that, sadly, but we do pull a 90, but you guys will see later on in this episode. But yeah, overall, NHL 15, I'm having fun with it. I'm, I enjoyed making the first episode of the Deacon Street. It seems like everyone enjoyed that. So if you did not see that episode, the link will not be in the description. I may put it there, but it'll be on my channel. It'll be my channel trailer if you want to watch that. I really enjoyed it. I hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you haven't seen it already. But I thought it was a pretty good episode, and hopefully it's going to be a good series. But overall, I'm excited for NHL 15. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the Ultimate Edition. I only pre-ordered the Regular Edition and haven't actually got a chance to go change it, and the game comes out in like two or three days. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. Because I know you get like $40 worth of packs, which sadly, I'm if I don't get that, that's not going to be the greatest. But I mean, I guess it's whatever. And we pull over Bada, which is a really, really good card. Only 85 overall, but he's a really good card. He's probably worth like a thousand pucks in this game at the moment. But yeah, I mean, I like this game. I want to know what your guys' opinion are on this game. Mainly, I guess, like, what do you think about the packs? Like, to be honest, it's kind of different i mean there's now no um like last year there was i guess methods was it it wasn't methods but like there was like player cards so it's like there's like a jeru pack and stuff like that this year it's just the one thing and that's about it it's just gold you know there's no players or anything like that so packs are a little bit different there's five packs this year last year i don't remember how many there were we pull a skinner here which he's a really good card as well really fast but i mean overall it's Hut's not a huge difference, but the whole thing, the whole premise of the menus, and I actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hut is a pretty big difference. I meant to say it's like a slight, like a more difference than it usually is. Like this game feels a lot different than NHL 14. Like Hut, the gameplay obviously feels a lot different. 
just it's sad to say that there's not that many game modes but again ea most likely will be patching new ones in hopefully soon would also would be awesome to get otp online shootouts just would add a lot more to this game because i'm not sure if me playing be a pro gm mode i probably will but it's definitely different hopefully it's good i haven't really tried it or looked at it i saw a few pictures of it it looked cool and different but i'm not sure how good it's going to be but hut is definitely a lot of fun definitely a good game mode and if you're on the edge of oh i don't know if i want to get it for the uh, xbox 360 or the one the four on the one on the 360 the menus are exactly the same so if you would probably think you're playing the same game but they did patch and tune some things up in the and uh, the xbox 360 ps3 versions but in my opinion the gameplay is really good on this one the hut is really nice and i'm sure ea is going to patch in some game modes eventually so i would say go with this one if you have the one or the ps4 but it's all up to you and this is our final pull we pull a ryan kessler and a darren helm two really good pulls kessler is actually really good in this game he was really good last year really good face-offs and darren helm is really fast again this year in 85 overall but if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like it honestly means a lot and i will see you guys in the next video